Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make viral edits so easy and quick in After Effects. Here I will use one of my latest edits and I will show you all the effects I have done in AE. But, I will drop tutorials one by one daily cause, I can't make all effects just in one tutorial, the video will be more than 20 minutes or maybe more. My main goal is to make tutorials as short as possible. And in today's video I will show you how to make this glowing and colorful lightning easy in After Effects. Before we begin making any effects, first make sure to pre-compose your clip. Make sure move all attributes is selected and then rename it to whatever you want and after hit OK. Now we are ready to add lightning effect but, first we should track the background, so the lightning will be tracked with our video and it will look more realistic. Click on track motion. Now make track point a bit bigger. The bigger the box is, the smoother will be the analyzing. But, do not make it too big. In my case this size is more than enough. Now find a good spot in the background and move track point there. Make sure to find some good contrasted area. Once you are satisfied with it, click on options and let's change some tracking options for better and accurate results. Make sure RGB is selected, then enable adapt feature on every frame, then click here and select stop tracking. Stop tracking is a cool thing, for example you are tracking the spot and suddenly tracker jumps from that spot, that becomes annoying and you have to correct it every time it moves from the spot. So, that option stops your analyzing once track point moves from the spot and allows you to analyze it again from that moment. Set if confidence is below to 95% and then hit OK. Now let's click on analyze forward button and wait until it's done. Look how accurate my tracking is with just the settings. Once the analyzing is done, create new null object. Now click on edit target and make sure to select the null we have created. Click on apply now and hit OK. Now we have that smooth tracked null in the background and we can bring our lightning footage here. Check this video's description to download this lightning. Press S on your keyboard and make it a bit smaller so we can see it better. Now enable 3D on lightning layer and then select an anchor point tool or press Y on your keyboard. I will move an anchor point to the center of the lightning effect to make it centered from here. Now if I will change rotations it will be affected from the center of lightning. Let's move our lightning to the point right where the null is. Make sure to place it right there for a better tracking results. In my case, my lightning won't move anywhere and it will be there cause I've placed it right on the null area. Press S again and I will make lightning a bit bigger. We can now even rotate it how we want. Once you are satisfied with its position, make sure to link lightning to the null you have created. Let's quickly check it. And as I said, the lightning is tracked perfectly and I'm happy with it. In my case I don't like this part of it, let's avoid it. Grab a pen tool and mask the part you want to remove. Now press F on your keyboard to open feather. Select inverted and then add feather a bit to smooth the edges of the mask. Now let's zoom in and check the mask, if it needs to be fixed, fix it until it will look fine. That looks way better. In my reels I've made two lightnings with different colors, let me show you how I did it. Duplicate this lightning, then right click on it, go to transform and select, flip horizontal. Move it up a bit and let's check it. It needs to be flipped vertically as well. Right click on lightning again, then go to transform and select flip vertical. I will correct the lightning's position and rotation and then let's check it. Everything looks cool to me but now I want to avoid of this part of my second lightning. I will select an ellipse tool now and mask that unwanted part. Nothing has happened cause of the mask mode, our first mask mode is set to add so, the second should be set to subtract and it will be affected immediately. Now let's correct that mask as well and then add feather to smooth the edges. It looks really cool and smooth. Now let's change the color of the second lightning, add color balance effect on that layer. Change hue to change the colors of it. Once you are satisfied with it, let's add glow on both lightnings. I will use a deep glow plugin. If you don't have it, you can write me on Instagram to get it for free. Let's check how it looks like with a glow. That's way better now. But it's not the end, let's darken now the video a bit to make everything look outstanding. Duplicate your video and move duplicated one above other layers. Rename it to car only. Now go to very beginning of that layer. Open car only layer settings and delete motion trackers on it. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are happy, change feather to 8 and hit freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. 
Select your bottom clip now and let's darken the background. Add exposure effect on bottom video. Decrease the exposure until you are happy. In my case my car is too bright now. Let's add Lumetri color on car only layer now. I will add a bit of contrast, maybe bring down a little bit of exposure. I don't like the highlights here, let's decrease it as well. I'm happy with the colors but, now we have edge issues on a car here. Select car only layer and under the roto brush set reduce chatter to 100%. Now add matte choker effect and play around with the settings until it will be fixed. Don't copy my settings cause we have different clips and my settings won't work for you. If needed you can add key cleaner effect and play around with it as well. As you can see, my edge issue is fully fixed and it looks amazing. That looks so clean. Lastly we can add shake effect, I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. This was part 1 of how to make viral edits in After Effects. Check back tomorrow for the next viral and smooth effects with a deep explanation. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.